Hi guys! Welcome back to the vlog. It's been a very busy week, so I thought about cooking something for myself. Today, it's going to be pasta for one. So come, join me in the kitchen! For this recipe, I'll be using spaghetti for my pasta, some cherry tomatoes which I'll slice in half, minced garlic, fresh parsley which I'll chop later, and then this is chicken longanisa. I got this from a friend. This is Queen's Deli Longanisa distributed by Barbecue Boss. And then salt and pepper, some oregano, and for the topping I'll be using some red cheddar, which I'll grate later. So I'm about my pasta while working in the sauce. As usual, I'll be saving some of the wonderful pasta water for later. I'd like to begin by frying the chicken longanisa which I've sliced into smaller pieces in some olive oil. And then we'll set this aside. Up next, you saute the garlic. You want it a little brown but not burnt because we're still gonna add some tomatoes. Now it's time to add the cherry tomatoes. I love how this smells already. So in the end, you want this a little crushed. So in the process of you know softening the tomatoes, you wanna crush it a little bit with your um, sandok. <laughs> now it's time to add the chicken longanisa from earlier. Give it a good mix. Now, if you feel that your mixture is too dry, you can add some pasta water. But be careful, it's, it's easier and it's safer to add bit by bit than to add so much and then later on you'd wish that you could take out something. So, be careful. I've seasoned it with pepper and oregano and now I'm adding fresh parsley. I'm gonna give this a good mix. As you can see, I didn't season it with salt anymore because I found out that the longanisa is a bit salty. That should do it. Look at that. Mm. Wonderful color, I'm sure. Wonderful taste. Look at that. Now fire off, I've added a pasta and I'm going to give this a good mix. It smells so good. I think I'll need to add a little pasta water because it has dried up a bit already. Right, so there you have it. Pasta straight from the skillet. All you have to do is to transfer it in a serving dish and maybe sprinkle some cheese. 